Hello everyone, so today I'm making a little roll tile tutorial. This is what your end result is going to look like. All of the tiles will automatically update. If this is not what you're looking for, then you can click away from the video right now. But if this is what you're looking for, then you can stick around. Okay, so I have an empty project right here and I will show you step by step on how to make your very own rule tile. So first of all you need to import your tile map sprite which I will do right now. This tile map is made by Eli who is a fellow YouTuber and a good friend of mine and if you like these kind of visuals this is straight from a game of his so if you're interested you can check him out in the top right corner in the info card. Now let's change a couple of the settings on here. You need to set the pixels per unit to whatever the width and height of your tile is. So for me that's 16 by 16 for each tile, which I just did. Then you set the filter mode to point filter. You always do this if you're working with pixel art. And then I set the compression to none. One more thing is you need to set the sprite mode to multiple and then you press apply and go into the sprite editor. Next you press slice. And in my case, all of the tiles are 16 by 16, so I need to set the cell size to 16. You, al you also need to change it from automatic to grid by cell size. Next, tap slice, and as you can see, everything looks good. Next, tap apply. And now let's get into making the rule tile itself. First, what you need to do is you need to right click in the project tab, then go on to create go down to 2d extras tiles and rule tile I will name this rule tile brick because I'm a, making a brick tile map so next tap this button and now you will see a lot of things so first off this square here is which tile it will be for which tile you will change the settings for and for me that will be this tile first and this right here you can add arrows and crosses and pretty much how this works is that say you have a rule tile setup that contains a tile like this which is just four edges and a tile like this which is a tile with three edges and an opening to the right the conditions for this tile will look like this for both of them respectively and the way this works is that for example, this tile will only appear if these conditions are met and the crosses mean that there cannot be a tile right there. So this tile will only appear if there are no other tiles directly around it. While this tile will appear if there is one tile to the right and no other tiles directly touching it. Now let's continue setting up our tile map. Now what I do recommend is that you always put the completely filled sprite, with that I mean this one with like no edges around it, to set that one as the lowest priority and the way you do that is by putting it at the bottom of the list and I suggest that you do not put any conditions on it. This way if you did something wrong in your tile map there will at least still be a tile in that position. So now you might be saying bad duck I have my rule tile now how do I place the tile in the scene? Well you need to set up a tile palette for that. The way you do that is you go to window 2d and then tile palette. Now I usually place this next to my inspector window so next tap on create new palette you can rename it whatever you want I'm gonna call it brick palette and you press create and then it will ask for a folder to place it in I will just put it in my assets folder for now and now it says here drag tile sprite or sprite texture assets here 
Well, we have a sprite asset. We have a sprite asset, which is our rule tile asset. And if we drag it in, it will work perfectly well. But we can still not draw anything in our scene. What's up with that? Well, we don't have a tile map object in our scene yet. To create that, we just press the plus icon, then go to 2D object, tile map, and now you can see that we can finally draw our tile map in our scene and it works perfectly if you followed all the steps correctly. If it's still not working or just something seems to be kind of off or you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message in the comments below. I check all of them. So feel free to ask questions. The only way to learn is, using, is by asking questions. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.